Oh, the time has come yet again to stand up against bullying. This August, some of the biggest names in sports and I think just in entertainment culture here in South Africa are going to step into the ring to fight against bullying. All, um, I think, in aid of Bullyproof 2018, yes, but in, in aid of promoting a healthier culture around sport, around young men, around young people, around hardcore athletes like the two gentlemen sit, sitting beside me. Not to say you're not a hardcore athlete, Bruce, Bruce yeah. Benjamin, but Corne Krikha, Ryan Boerter, guys, welcome to it, man. Thanks. Thank you. You know, Ryan, I'm conflicted, bro. You know I love you like a brother, dude. I, I really do love you, but it's Corne Krikha. <laughs> what the fuck are, are you stupid, him, trust me. bro? Are you stupid? <laughs> now, this is going to be one of the coolest matchups, I think, on the fight card. Corne, always so cool to see you, man. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm always catching up with you at, the, at these, these bizarre times. You've just come off a reality show, and you've lost 50 kilograms. You've done a Cape Epic. You, are you just a sucker for punishment? What, what was the, the motivation to get in the ring, yeah, man? Look, um, I think it's two ways. You know, I, I, I like to have a challenge every year, um, and that's why I do all these crazy events. I've done the Ironman in one year, then I've done Epic in another year. So I try and do one, one something series, silly something every year, <laughs> something different every year. Um, and this year, you know, Bruce approached me and said, "Look, would you consider fighting for, uh, you know, a, as an anti-bullying campaign?" And I thought, you know, it's great. I've heard about the Jake Foundation that look after, you know, the, the, they do some amazing. They stuff, do some yeah. amazing work, and I thought, you know, it'll be a great challenge. And I think it's been, you know, training hard, and uh, is what I love to do anyway. But also to, to understand, uh, try and understand the culture and the, uh, you know, the discipline that it takes to to box, you know. Yeah. And, it's and an art so form, I've just yeah. really started now uh, with Bruce a couple of weeks ago. And I've, I've learned a lot in a, in a few weeks. I know Bruce is amazed at, at the work rate. So put it in perspective, Ryan, you are his epic this year. You <laughs> are his epic, oh, dude. God, I realized that when you said that to me, I was like, okay, the boys to obviously um, Buddy, I mean, you're coming back from a, a very serious injury. How is the, the leg doing? How are you? Well, I'm walking, which is, a, which is amazing. I'm grateful for that. I wasn't meant to. So, you know, like Cornet says, he also likes a challenge. So do I, you know. So I want to see if I can push to the point. I can, you know, I can take a challenge on again, you know. So. It's something that challenged you constantly, and I've been there. It was a great experience. This is something I always looked up to as a young sportsman. So it's, it was it's just a bit it was crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's you crazy know? I'm gonna want to hug him after. So yeah. for me, it's gonna be one of those. You know, you're gonna hug him before yeah. and Probably after, before and during it. Can you my shirt? We're just gonna be constantly breaking you guys exactly. up. Exactly. Uh, Bruce, uh, bullyproof is something that you've chosen to invest a huge amount of yourself in. What, what is it about this campaign, about bringing these kind of stars together, for this that makes it so special for you, man? Well, they, I mean, again, they're, they're national influences. So um, our kids, obviously, growing up and following their example with, uh, again, through the sports of, of boxing, the discipline, the self-awareness that comes with that as well. Um, yeah, it's a huge element to actually combating this uh, pandemic, which is bullying. Yeah. I think a lot of people want to see you guys train. They want to see what's going on behind yeah. the scenes. It's, it's a nice long build up. How do we follow? How do we see and, and get, in, get involved? Gosh, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, you can. We're, we're on Facebook and Instagram, as it is now. Uh, we'll be re revealing a lot more about the, obviously, the, the training dates and the, the dates of the, the fights as well. Um, but then we'll be doing tons of tons of inserts and we'll basically keep the viewer informed via. Uh, we're going to have to bring you back, I think, on a weekly basis yeah. to, to match that, that progression. How much about the, the rest of the fight card, do you guys, fight card do you guys know? Are there any big, big names that you... There's a couple of boys we've both been around and for a long time, like Matthew Booth's there, and I really want to see Boothie fight. I mean, that boy's like seven foot two, reach for days. Would you have taken him on? Uh, uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> how do you get close to him? This is already a struggle for me, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah that's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting fight for me. And there's always some girls fighting as well, like Roxy Lowe's in the mix, you know, that's going to be interesting to watch her fight. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, Corne, do you have any last words, some smack talk? For your your opponent, yeah. <laughs> Not really. I think boxing is about uh, it's about respect. And and I read something in the gym the other day that really um, that struck me is it, don't be defined by the result, but be defined by the journey. You yeah. know? And I think that's. Whether, whether I win or not, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to be defined by the journey and obviously you know, the respect between myself and Ryan uh, uh, in the build-up to that and also afterwards, you know, whoever wins, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it's all about the cause, but also about your personal challenge and, and what you're going to go through in the next few weeks. Honestly, buddy, it will change you. I, I can love speak that. from that's personal experience. Like that. <laughs> that's, exactly, that's what this is about. You so know basically, I mean? it's rugby versus football. <laughs> we'll find out who's going to be the ultimate winner. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're probably going to have both of these guys and Bruce back on the show many times before <laughs> August getting into that journey. But you can, of course, go and support the JAG Foundation. Hashtag bullyproof is what it's all about.